Seven days ago, we found out we're playing in the World Championships in Tokyo and we're leaving in two days' time. We weren't expecting to play. We were halfway through our 12-week training plan so that we could play our best badminton in seven weeks' time and not seven days' time. Also, we'd actually just had a week off, so we had to come up with a new plan of how we can improve the most in just one week of training. So, after doing this for the last seven days, we're now going to share our three best tips to help any of you that have a big tournament coming up that you want to quickly improve for. Tip one is to focus on what is important. There's a well-known principle that says 80% of your results come from 20% of your actions. So what we spent the last seven days focusing on is the 20% of our game that wins us 80% of our points. We won't go into too much detail on exactly what this is, as we don't want to give away too much to our opponents in case they're watching. But for example, you might think that you have a really weak backhand clear. So in your one week of training, you spend all of your six hours of on-court time practicing this. But in actual fact, your backhand clear might only lose you one or two points in every match. And yeah, you might have improved your backhand clear significantly, but you'll have spent so much time and energy on it that you'll have neglected other areas of your game that are probably a lot more important and could win you lots of points. Badminton is all about having confidence, and if you don't manage to improve a minor weakness like this, then you'll be a lot less confident when it comes to a match. Your technique is developed over many weeks, months, and even years, so trying to change something like your backhand in just one week is also very difficult. And this is similar for your fitness, which brings us on to our second tip of how to improve in just one week. OK, being honest, there have been lots of times in the past where we didn't feel like we were quite ready for a tournament, so we trained like crazy in the last week or two, trying to get as fit as possible, doing extra runs, extra bike sessions, or extra time on court. But this is honestly such a big mistake. More often than not, it meant that we either went to the tournament with some small injuries or we were just really tired, or even both. The good news is that we've learnt from our mistakes and we're going to share them so that you don't make the same mistakes too. So what we've been doing over the last seven days is short quality sessions. Again, you're not going to improve your fitness in seven days, but you can go into the tournament feeling sharp and the following types of sessions are going to help you achieve this. So, in your on-court training sessions, we'd recommend doing sets of no longer than 60 or 90 seconds and having a focus on things like having a short swing, playing your shots with quality and moving your feet fast. And in your match play sessions, we'd recommend getting in the mindset of competing, playing a best of three set match to 21 like you would. And as we'd always suggest, treat your match play sessions like the real thing. We always want to practice to perform and the more you practice under pressure, the more comfortable you'll be when it comes down to the real competition. Then in your gym sessions, we'd recommend doing more explosive exercises, like box jumps or weighted badminton lunges. Again, these should all be short sets of no more than six to eight repetitions. You don't want to be tiring yourself out too much. One final focus area, especially for doubles players, is to do serve and return practice. We've said in lots of videos in the past just how important serve and return is. In fact, in our data of over a thousand doubles rallies, 59% of these were won or lost in the first four shots. Practicing this area doesn't even take much physical energy, so you should definitely be adding it into your one week of preparation. Yeah, we found that practicing our serve and return quality and consistency right before a tournament really helps to boost our confidence in the matches, so we hope this tip will help you too. Of course, we need to say that to actually make significant improvements, you need a lot longer than one week, especially for technical and physical improvements. And this is why we'd suggest focusing quite a bit on the tactical elements of your game. Now, as we've just said, you don't want to panic that you have a tournament or important match coming up and start overtraining. But our third tip helps you solve this problem and we'd recommend it to everyone. And this is putting your feet up and watching badminton, something we do all of the time. So we're now going to share three ways of how we watch badminton to maximise our improvements. But first, we need to find a good match to watch. Did you know that when you sit down to watch a badminton match on YouTube, either live or a replay, but can't find it? This is because it's been geo-blocked. And if you're fed up of this really annoying situation, then you need to use a virtual private network known as a VPN. The VPN we use is Surfshark, and we're delighted to say that they're sponsoring this video. So Greg is going to spend the next 20 seconds showing you how easy it is to use. So the first thing to do is spend less than two minutes signing up and downloading the app on as many devices as you want. And that's it, we're ready to start. As you can see, we're currently in the United Kingdom. So to connect to a country that doesn't geo block badminton matches, all we need to do is scroll down to say Canada, and bam, we can now watch any badminton match we like. There's lots more benefits though. Firstly, you can use it to watch shows on Netflix or Disney that might be blocked in your country. 
Personally, we've used it a lot when we're abroad to watch the US office. You can also use it on unlimited devices, which is amazing, and it encrypts your data and location, which is especially important when you're on a public Wi-Fi. Now we've got an unbelievable offer for you. If you use our link in the description below and enter the code Bamton Insight, you get a huge 83% off and three months for free. That works out as £1.69 or about $2 a month. They're practically giving it away. And even if you don't enjoy it, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So again, top link in the description below to get this jaw dropping offer. Now we have three reasons watching badminton can help you to win more matches. Firstly, by watching better players, you can see what they're doing that you can try and copy and add into your own game. We do this all of the time. Secondly, we'd advise watching footage of yourself playing well. If you don't have any videos of you playing well, then try to think back to one of those times. Hopefully there are some. Here you should try and recall the feelings you felt in that moment. And this method of visual imagery is a powerful tool used in sports psychology. And it's something we both use. It helps us to remind us of our strengths and it again gives us confidence. Lastly, if it's possible, we'd advise watching your opponents, either on video, which we do, or in person, and try to pick out their strengths so you know what to avoid and also their weaknesses so you know what to target. This is something we always do before every match we play and we'll definitely be doing it again in Tokyo next week. Speaking of which, we've got a plane to catch and we're of course going to be vlogging our time at the World Championships, so keep an eye out for that and smash the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss it. And finally, don't forget to check out Surfshock and we'll see you on another video very soon.